assalamu alaikum viewers i'm thankful to you all again for subscribing my channel youtube channel and today again i am here for conducting another experiment of the transformer in the previous uh, videos we have done the transformer operation experiment and then the open circuit test of the transformer and now today we are going to perform the experiment of the transformer which is a short circuit test of the transformer now the short circuit test, what is the short circuit test of transformer? This type of the test we perform in the, on the transformer is used to measure the copper losses in the transformer. According to the circuit diagram, the low voltage winding is kept short circuited and high voltage winding of the transformer is energized from the AC supply. Now after that, we have to understand this circuit diagram of the short circuit test that we have to perform on this panel. So as you can see this diagram that uh, the high voltage winding the high voltage winding is uh, connected with the AC supply okay and this is the watt meter and this low voltage winding is kept short circuited okay now if you are applying a very small amount of the voltage to this circuit what happen means 5 to 10 percent if we if we our uh, high voltage size it up, up to the 100 volts means the 5 to 10 percentage of that rated voltage the full load amount of the current will start flowing from the transformer that shows our copper losses okay now we have to conduct this experiment on the strainer again we need the watt meter the transformer and again phase supply and the connecting wires okay so what we have to do again in this connect this high voltage winding to this watt meter and the supply and left uh, kept short circuited this uh, low voltage winding okay now Again, there are the two coils of the watt meter, the current coil and the pressure coil. The points, the two points will be the short circuited and this point will be connected to the neutral one. Okay. And this point is connected to the high voltage. Again, uh, I am going to repeat it. This point is connected with this high voltage side. And now second point will be connected with the neutral one as you can see on this uh, diagram okay so this will be connected with this one now 50 volt is the low voltage winding and according to this diagram this low voltage winding is kept short circuited by the thick conductor what by thick conductor so we have to short these two points okay simple to wires we have to take in to short this okay now this was the complete diagram which we have uh, done on this trainer now 5 to 10 percentage of the rated voltage means 127 volt is the maximum voltage which is to be given to this transformer for its operation of, on the primary side if we are nominal we are given the 100 voltage to this transformer means it's 10 percent 5 to 10 percent will be like 5 to 10 volts up to that 5 to 10 volts or 12 volts the full load current is starts flowing from the windings of the transformer that full load current will be called the copper losses in the transformer okay because there's a low voltage winding is kept short circuited in this experiment so you can see as the uh, 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 this watt meter is placed on this so you can see we are going to increase the voltage up to that 9 volt, uh, 1 ampere uh, fuse has been uh, installed over this uh, in this cap. So 0 0.58 is uh, the uh, is the current which is flowing. Okay, and you can see up to the 13 or the 15 volt that shows the full load current is starts flowing from the transformer because the fuse fuse rating is the 1 ampere and almost 0.87 or 0.89 current is flowing from this uh, from this windings of the transformer this is the 
the voltage okay 11.7 yes. and then this is the power factor of transformer 0.993 and the power 10.1 watt which is to be drawn from the primary side of the supply so this was the experiment and uh, that we have done on this trainer that was the short circuit test the short circuit test is used to find out the copper losses in the transformer and obviously the copper losses is totally depend upon the short circuit uh, low voltage winding if going to be short circuited obviously 5 to 10 percent 5 to 10 percentage of the rated voltage when we are applying to this primary side the full load current is starts flowing from the transformer that we have already analyzed through the wattmeter and our readings has been shown on this trainer please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the more related uh, con uh, related electrical machines content uh, thank you very much